What is going on guys, Gizmo Gaming back with another Rocket League crate opening video and today I was sitting here pretty bored because Tyler's not on and usually he's on and we play doubles and I had already uh, exercised all my trade options because all my stuff is on cooldown so I decided that we'd answer the question is it worth it to buy these Beach Blast unlocked crates? Now, when I first saw these when the event came out my reaction was these are stupid they don't, they don't have a mystery decal why would you ever buy these because the best thing you can theoretically get is a beach party after further inspection however i realized that i like leviathan i like torrent sunray looks pretty cool to me especially if it's painted i don't know if you can do that and then both of these wheels are cool and fairly expensive especially if you get either of them painted and i actually kind of want circuit board which sounds stupid because it's a very rare but what I figured we'd do is, I only bought five because that's how my day I could buy while keeping my sanity. I don't want to just spend $20 on 10 crates, that's kind of stupid. So I figured we'd get five of these unlocked and just see, you know, like, what, what, what can we get out of them? Because I know for a fact if I can get these painted, that's like, huge win. So. We're going to just take it slow, open up these five crates, and ultimately answer whether or not these are worth buying. So, let's hope for something not terrible. Um, there's another crate opening I recorded with Tyler that I don't know whether or not I can post it because it kind of just sucked. Oh, don't. Okay. So that's pretty bad. Not a good start. Uh, I don't know whether or not I'm going to post it because it was just kind of bad in general. Um, not a terrible decal. Nothing I'd use because I don't like Octane, but not the worst thing ever. Uh, again, I just like these wheels painted optimally. Crate 2 of 5, see what we can do. But uh, I might try to edit something funny into it, I don't know. But come on, give me some, give me some exotic. Alright, Torrent. Can that be painted? I don't know, maybe. It's possible. I feel like probably not. I feel like that probably can't be painted. I'm not entirely opposed to this boost, though. I feel like there's a lot worse things that they've put in crates. So, currently, not the greatest things uh, about what you'd expect from, you know, any crate. <laughs> uh, if you haven't seen my last crate opening I posted, I'd go check that out because I got a streamline. So. It's possible that all my luck is just exhausted and I can't pull anything good, so... That looks disastrous. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Nothing painted yet, either. Maybe they're just saving it up for, you know, saving it up for the last crate. Alright, two left. So far, answer would be not worth it, but that's because I haven't pulled anything good. <laughs> really, if I get anything you know, substantially good out of any of these, and instantly the answer of is it worth it is yes, and that's an Animus GP Peacock. Not what I'm looking for. Again, not painted. Surprised none of these have been painted. This is not a bad decal, though. only have the one left, and I I think I'd deserve an importer better, I think, for buying all five of these. Come on, hit me. Or another peacock. <laughs> That's a disaster. <laughs> okay, well, so, again, the question had been framed is it worth it to buy these crates? I'm gonna say the answer nope. is no. <laughs> I would not spend money on these. Um, there's some cool stuff in them, but again, your odds are not great. I, it's probably more worth your time to, you know, stick with Triumph and Impact crates and then, you know, any other crate that you, like, like the stuff from, because then you could, you know, trade it and do trade-ups and all that stuff. So, thank you guys for watching. Not worth it. It's been determined. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you in the next one.